Kaylee, and today I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial on how to do this all cool toned, all matte look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I've already partially done one eye, and now I'm going to continue doing the other eye, and then I'll finish this eye along the way. But I figured it would just save time when it comes to like editing and stuff, because I never show you guys like fully what I do on both eyes. Usually it's cut down a bit, because otherwise it'd be a really, 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 really long video. I'm going to start off with the Frisk. Is that how you say it? From the Naked 2 palette. It's just like one of my favorite cool tone palettes at the moment. How have you guys been? I feel like it's been, well actually I don't feel like it's been, I know it's been like a month since I did it chatty tutorial. I'm sorry I've kind of been slacking posting videos. I've been posting a lot to Instagram, but Instagram posts are a little bit less a production, that's what I'm looking for. As much production as like a YouTube video does. And if you guys read the description of my black and silver tutorial that I did maybe almost a month ago, and I'm just gonna put that in my lower lash line. I've just been putting, I put frisk in my crease, and then I'm just gonna work it on my lower lash line. That's what I'm doing. I have struggles with ovarian cysts and I have for like almost 10 years now. Ooh, that's a long time. They started when I was like 12 and I didn't get my period until I was like 14. That makes sense, right? But so I had a flare up. I ended up going to like my chiropractor and he worked on my back and I think that calmed it down because even he said that that can happen. And then I got an ultrasound done right after and they said that everything looked normal. So I think the cyst probably went away quietly, thank goodness. I've had four rupture and it is awful when they do. So now I'm going to use, what is this shade's name? Primal. I actually really love using this shade in my eyebrows since I have like such dark hair. Also, I'm having like a hair crisis. I don't know what to do with my hair. It's, my natural hair color is like a, can you guys see that? <laughs> my natural hair color is like a light golden brown. It's really different from like the black that is in my hair, which the black was never supposed to be in my hair, even though it has been for like two years. I just haven't been able to figure out how to get it lighter. So I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't want it dark anymore. I just want to start lightening it, but it's so expensive to go and get it done, but I'm really scared to do it myself. I don't know what's gonna happen with my hair over the next few months. It might just grow out and be like three shades, four shades for a little while. Who knows? I want it to be really, really light. You know, the kind of like ombre where it's like, you know, you have like your roots and then it kind of fades out to like a blonde color. I would love to do that because I just want something really different from what I have. Now I'm just going to take primal and go on my lower lash line. What have you guys been up to? What's new in your life? Are you looking forward to the fact that it's summertime just about? Basically feels like summer here right now. Uh, yesterday it was freezing cold and then today I'm like oh it's still going to be cold and cloudy today so I'll film and the sun keeps coming in and out but it's like of course the one day that I'm like oh I'm going to film the sun's like oh I'll come out and watch a film. Oh now my camera's dying. Great. So now I'm gonna go on my lower lash line with both of these brown liners from Make It Forever. It's the shades M60 and S50. The darker one isn't quite as cool toned as I like, but the lighter one is doesn't show up on my waterline as well as I would like it to. So I find that if I go in with both, then this one cools down this one, but this one helps with the pigmentation of this one. What's your guys' favorite summer fruit? Mine's nectarines and strawberries. I asked my mom to take the nectarines out of the fridge so they could ripen, and she got confused and she threw them out to her birds, so I'm stuck with watermelon right now. I just used a Real Techniques angle brush just to help set that liner a little bit more. And now I'm gonna do lashes and mascara off camera just because I do the same exact thing every single time. So I just filled in my lips with my NYX lip liner in Nude Beige. And then I filled in my lips with my Jeffree Star Posh Spice Liquid Lipstick. And then that's the completed look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys enjoyed another talk through tutorial, because like I said, I'll be doing more of these and kind of a mixture of all the different kinds of styles of tutorials that I do. And if you guys enjoyed this, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe for future videos, and I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you. Bye! Oh, we are, we are dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust